hello and namaste everyone welcome back to my youtube channel myself nilesha a civil engineer graduated from erc trivon university of nepal hope you all are doing well in this period of lockdown sitting ideally in home is never productive right those who wants to learn about modeling analysis and design of building in etabs then yes you are watching the right channel <laughs> I am presenting you with the complete package of ETAPS knowledge through my YouTube tutorial videos on ETAPS. Let's discuss about the system that how I am going to complete this tutorial videos. We will complete this ETAPS modeling and designing process in total of 8 videos step by step. And here these are the contents of all the 8 videos. In the first video, we will be doing modeling of the building that is setting up a new model and we will be understanding what are the grid lines. In number two, we will be defining material properties and section properties and then we will define load patterns, load combination, mass source and diaphragm. After the third video, in the fourth one, we will be assigning loads on beams and slabs that all the live loads and the dead loads wall loads, imposed loads, partition wall loads, etc. And in the fifth videos, we will be modeling a staircase. We will show you, we will know how to model a staircase. Uh, in this series, we will model open wheel staircase. And we will assign loads on the staircase slabs. And then we will assign our diaphragm in the six videos. And in the same video, we will check our model and run the analysis. And in the seventh video, we will know some criteria. Why uh, we will know some criteria that our building is safe or not that we should use or not for the design for the final design. And in the eighth video, we will know how to extract the data for detailed designing. We will know the process of extracting the shear forces, the bending moments, and all the necessary data to design our uh, elements, structural elements in detail. So in this video, this is our first tutorial. Okay, this is our the first tutorial video of this series. So in this video, I will first be explaining about different parameters that are used in structural analysis and in ETAPS. These parameters are useful for exam point of view too. To all the fourth year students, those uh, who are in seventh and eighth sim, and those who are watching, you will be requiring some of the terms here. You will have to know the meaning of some of the terms that I'm going to discuss here uh, for your exams also and for your knowledge also so that will be productive to you then we will introduce you grid lines and now we'll know how to create grid lines what are grid lines and then we'll start modeling afterwards so let's get started with our content and please watch the video till last as uh, we all know the load acting on the structure is ultimately transferred to the ground. In the process of load transferring, various components of the structures are subjected to internal stress and the strain. For example, load acting on a building will be transferred to the ground in the following pathway. Uh, all the loads that are acting on the slab will be transferred to the beam. So, uh, we will show you the different types of slab also cell thin cell thick membrane type of slabs what are their meanings and when are they used so in some case all the loads on the slabs are transferred to the beam in some cases uh, some portion of the loads are built by slab and some of them are transferred to the beam and the loads from beams are then transferred to the columns and then to footings and finally to the ground now we have two operations of ETAPS first operation that we will assign uh, we will do a structural analysis and the second is a structural design in a structural analysis what does it mean applying the loads on a structure and accessing the internal stays in the components of a structure is known as a structural analysis that will apply all the loads that are acting on the structural elements of the building and the, all the elements will go under some stress after applying all the necessary loads okay and in the structural design based on the analysis results 
finding the finding the suitable size or cross section of a particular type of a structural component is known as design of structures what does it mean that when we apply load and we have done some analysis okay so all the structures all the elements of the building go undergo under some stress and strain so based on that based on its criteria that it is safe or not or whether uh, we should uh, revise it or we should keep the same we will design the dimensions and the cross sections of all the elements like beams columns and slabs in detail that is known as detail design uh, in short that is called structural design that is the depth and amount of steel how much uh, what should be the depth and cross section of on the column and the beam how much steel is required for designing of our building of the element or particular element okay and uh, we all know the different types of structures that are commonly used are masonry rcc steel or combination of all often called as composite structures regarding modeling generation in e tabs and properties of materials used for our buildings analysis what we need to know is about yield stress of steel and about the material property what is yield stress of steel in actual basically it is a stress that is load per unit area that is the load per unit its cross sectional area at which elongation first occurs in the test specimen without increasing the load during the tensile test what does it mean it means uh, it is the stress value that steel can take while still showing elastic behavior okay and why do we do e taps analysis we have two types of structure we know determinant structure and indeterminant structure determinant structures that can be analyzed using static equilibrium so that there are three static equilibrium summation of horizontal force equals to zero summation of vertical force equals to zero and summation of moment equal to zero so if the structure that can be analyzed using all those equations then the structure is known as determinant structure and similarly the indeterminant structure those structures which cannot be solved which cannot be analyzed using all these three equations are called indeterminant structures these structures are often analyzed by matrix method those are very complex or fem that is finite element method modulation so we can solve these problems in software like sap etabs safe pdc and etabs nowadays is being so much popular among all the designers so we will be continuing with etabs only so now let's go to our new model and let's continue with our project we have to create a new model so we can create a new model from here also or you can go to file and select new model on the control n in shortcut okay so here we have model initialization we will go to use built-in settings and the metric si okay steel section databases in the end okay steel design code is is 800 2007 okay and concrete design code is 456 2000 this is also okay and finally okay and in new model quick template we will mm, select custom grid spacing and here custom story data and we can okay so uh, let me tell you what are grid lines first let's see this figure this is our AutoCAD yeah this is our AutoCAD figure so let me tell you all those center lines passing through the columns there are these are the column line oh, these, these are the column lines so all the center lines that are passing through the columns are grid lines in if you see in horizontals in x direction we how many lines do we have we have one two three and four lines so we have four grid lines in x direction and in y direction one two three four four lines in y direction also so all those lines center lines intersecting each other okay so that are grid lines and now here if we specify data or uh, we can edit from here also or we can edit later on also yeah so here grid system name is g1 and display grid data as ordinates and display grid data as a spacing what does it mean in ordinate form if we see 
if this is 0 and if this is 3 meter and this uh, the spacing between 1 and 2 is 3 meter 2 and 3 is 3 meter so the spacing will be 3 3 and if it is also 3 then this is also 3 okay and in ordinate case what it will be it will be 0 3 6 and 9 similarly in the y direction also 0 4 12 16 this will be as in the form of ordinates so so we will uh, use display grid data as ordinates only so, um, let's edit here you can see all of our system all of our units in feet and inch feet at inch so you can change mm. let me do it okay okay uh, let me show you how can you change the units that are used in this yeah here you can see in the right bottom corner you have uh, one story uh, global and units okay so from this unit here unit we have us defaults metric si and metric mps uh, is defaults initially we used metric si defaults and if we use us defaults it means that we are doing in feet and inch and when you are using metric si then meter millimeter centimeter okay so for our convenience we will use this uh, metric si defaults only and now we will go to edit edit storage and grid systems so this is our the grid system g1 that is uh, here only now we will modify also grid system and now uh, as uh, ordinate we will be doing this a0 and b is b uh, we have we have our data in fit uh, fit and inch so i have converted them into meters so i will be applying them in here so bubble size bubble size uh, it doesn't matter more so i have edited the grid system now okay and here we have a story system modify also a story data in story data this is our base this is our story one the height of story one is uh, 3.3.2004 meter from the base and story 2 is also 3.2004 meter yeah story 1 and between story 1 uh, 3.2004 again 3.2004 This is our story four. And this is our story five. Three point two zero zero four. And again three point two zero zero four. So sixteen point no uh, here we have base story 1 story 2 story 3 story 4 and story 5 okay so we have up to story 5 and elevation it have calculated itself 3.2004 and 16.002 here the master story uh, let me show you something all of my stories are same okay so here you can see that uh, this is ground floor first floor second third this is fourth this is ground floor this is first floor first and this is second 
and this is third row and this is top floor plan and after the top floor plan we have uh, this cover also so I have given there up to fifth row and what we can see is uh, all of the floors are similar up to fourth floor uh, so we will be doing uh, not up to fourth floor up to third floor so we will be doing uh, this is master plan yes if this is a master story then no no and yes and yes what does it mean is uh, third floor and second floor are similar to story one that is story three story two are similar to story one fourth story is our roof and then story five is our and story five is our what uh, roof cover uh, now similar to story two is similar to story one and story three is also similar to story one uh, there is story three and story two are similar to master story one yeah story one story one okay so now i'll do it okay then we have done with our we have done with our uh, grid line system this is our 3d view this is our plan view and this is model explorer if you do not want if you want to work in only plan view then cancel this 3d view and then we will have only plan view here so you can see these are the grid lines uh, 1 2 3 and 4 a b c and d so these are the grid lines that we have drawn so far so we have started the modeling of our building in the next video we will be uh, defining material properties and section properties i would like to take a leave here and uh, we'll get in touch in the second video with the material properties and the section properties definition okay, so bye for now we'll, i'll see you in the next videos stay in touch and yeah please subscribe my youtube channel Thank you.